Imagine the universe as a constantly changing masterpiece, teeming with life and secrets. Now picture this. The James Webb Space Telescope has made an astonishing discovery. It's found hundreds of enormous, unidentified objects lurking nearby. Up until now, we've only scratched the surface of what we know Earth, stars, galaxies, just 5% of the universe. The rest, dark energy or dark matter. We can't see it, we can't imagine it. Yet it makes up a whopping 95% of everything out there. So what are these mysterious entities emerging from the 95% we're yet to explore? Hold on to your seats because this isn't science fiction. It's a thrilling new chapter in cosmic exploration unfolding right before our eyes. Let's talk about the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short. It's the successor to the iconic Hubble Telescope, and since its launch, it's been on a mission to unveil the deepest secrets of our universe. A marvel of human ingenuity, the JWST represents a new era of space exploration, taking us farther into the mysteries of the cosmos than ever before. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, the JWST is NASA's most powerful space telescope yet. It's already reshaping our understanding of the universe. What sets the JWST apart is its cutting-edge technology. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST can explore the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This allows it to see through cosmic dust clouds that hide celestial objects from our view, offering us unprecedented insights into the early universe and the evolution of galaxies. With its high-resolution instruments, the JWST can detect objects that are too faint, distant or ancient for the Hubble to spot. This means we can explore the universe's origins, study the formation of galaxies, and even delve into the mysterious realms of dark matter and dark energy. The JWST's primary mirror, made up of 18 hexagonal segments coated in gold, is a marvel of engineering. Its large size and precision enable the telescope to capture incredibly detailed images of distant celestial objects. Positioned at the Sun-Earth Lagrange 2 point, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the JWST enjoys a clear view of the cosmos, free from atmospheric interference. This strategic location allows it to deliver clearer and more accurate observations than ever before. Thanks to its advanced instruments, the JWST is also helping us study exoplanets and understand more about planetary systems beyond our own. Already, it's uncovered hundreds of ancient galaxies, shedding light on the universe's early days and the processes that shaped it into what we see today. But the JWST isn't just a window to the past. It's also helping us predict the future of the cosmos. By studying the history of stars and galaxies, we can gain insights into how they will evolve over time. In a groundbreaking discovery, the JWST has revealed hundreds of ancient galaxies that existed just 600 million years after the Big Bang. This may seem like a long time, but in cosmic terms, it's merely a blink of an eye, a snapshot of the universe in its infancy. Just imagine, if the universe's entire history were a two-hour movie, these galaxies would show us what happened in the first five minutes. The recent findings were part of an extensive international effort known as the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES for short. Utilizing the remarkable observing capabilities of the JWST, researchers focused on two specific patches of the sky one in the direction of the Ursa Minor constellation and the other toward the Fornax cluster. What they discovered within these areas was truly remarkable over 700 young galaxies never before observed by human eyes. These galaxies weren't your ordinary ones. They were akin to galactic toddlers, displaying intricate structures and active regions where stars were being born. Kevin Hain, an assistant research professor at the Stewart Observatory in Arizona, and one of the study's lead authors likened this discovery to the opening scenes of a movie about the universe's life. These galaxies, he said, are like the stars of the show, kickstarting the process of creating elements that would eventually lead to the complexity we see in the world today. But here's the mind-blowing part. During what we could call the universe's first five minutes, between 370 million and 650 million years after the Big Bang, the team identified a staggering 717 of these young galaxies, this number exceeded scientists' previous predictions by a significant margin. It's as if overnight, a handful of elementary school kids turned into an entire school district. What's more, these weren't just tiny blips. Each of these galaxies stretched thousands of light years across, comparable to the width of our Milky Way. They were already forming complex structures and birthing stars in multiple clusters, sprinting full speed ahead from the moment of their inception. Before this discovery, the earliest galaxies we could observe seemed like little more than smudges. However, with the JWST's capabilities, they've transformed into extended objects with visible structure, much like a blurred photo coming into sharp focus. 
The specific regions where these young galaxies were found have an intriguing moniker, the Good South, short for the Great Observatory's Origins Deep Survey. Despite being extensively studied by various space telescopes, including Hubble, Chandra and Spitzer, a whopping 93% of the galaxies spotted by the JWST during the JADES project had never been detected before. It's a testament to the universe's ongoing mystery, hiding secrets that wait for our technology to uncover. Prior to this discovery, astronomers mostly observed the brightest and most extreme galaxies of the early universe. Now with the JWST's latest findings, we're meeting the more common, everyday galaxies that were navigating through the cosmos during its infancy. As for how the messy, dust-filled environment of the early universe evolved into the clear, transparent one we see today, scientists have long pondered over this question. One leading theory involves a phase known as the Epoch of Reionization, which began around 400,000 years after the Big Bang. During this period, the universe underwent significant changes, akin to a newborn baby opening its eyes to the world around it. The first generation of massive stars ignited, flooding the universe with their radiant light and setting the stage for the cosmos we know today. The powerful ultraviolet starlight had a profound effect on the universe, triggering a process known as reionization. During reionization, the abundant hydrogen atoms scattered throughout the universe were split into protons and electrons. This transformation gradually turned the opaque, dusty universe into the transparent one we know today. It's as if the universe swapped out a pair of dirty glasses for a crystal clear pair. This significant process continued until about 1 billion years after the Big Bang. Some astronomers propose another intriguing aspect to this cosmic tale. They suggest that outflows from supermassive black holes, similar to the one at the heart of our Milky Way, could have acted as ultraviolet lighthouses, aiding the escape of ultraviolet radiation from galaxies. If true, these black holes may have played a larger role in shaping the evolution of the cosmos than previously thought. Now, onto the next twist in our cosmic tale. The JWST hasn't been working with just one team. A second group of researchers from the JADES program has been delving into cosmic data, focusing on galaxies that existed between 500 to 850 million years after the Big Bang. They're essentially peering into the action unfolding between five to eight minutes into our two-hour movie of the universe. According to Ryan Insly, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Texas who led this second study, they're beginning to see the effects of galaxy formation on the composition of the large-scale universe. It's like piecing together an immensely complicated jigsaw puzzle where each piece represents a galaxy or cluster of galaxies, and they're starting to get a sense of the bigger picture. Galaxies in the early universe had a more chaotic approach to forming stars, akin to young, rambunctious children full of energy and unpredictability. This contrasts sharply with the structured and orderly galaxies we're familiar with today. In Sly's team acted as cosmic detectives, studying the signs of star formation in these early galaxies. They found that one in every six galaxies showed extreme line emissions in their spectra, indicating intense star production. These emissions are like a galaxy's fingerprint, revealing its composition and history. The torrents of ultraviolet photons unleashed by these early stars played a crucial role in driving cosmic reionization, transforming the universe from a dusty, opaque expanse into the clear, transparent cosmos we see today. But these galaxies aren't the only ones making waves. In another remarkable discovery, astronomers have detected the oldest known examples of complex organic molecules in the universe. It's yet another piece of the cosmic puzzle, hinting at the rich complexity of the early cosmos. In a recent study, scientists made a remarkable discovery. Complex carbon-based structures, similar to those found in smoke and soot on Earth, were detected within an early galaxy formed when the universe was just 10% of its current age. These molecules, technically known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are not exotic compounds, but rather quite common here on Earth, found in oil, coal deposits, and even urban smog. Lead author Justin Spilka, an astronomer at Texas A&M University, explained that these molecules are not simple like water or carbon dioxide. They are much more complex, with dozens or even hundreds of atoms arranged in various configurations. They're like big, floppy jigsaw puzzles, representing the molecular equivalent of intricate patterns with numerous pieces. These complex organic molecules, including PARs, are abundant in space, often attached to tiny dust grains scattered throughout the cosmos. They play a significant role in influencing the temperature of interstellar gas and provide valuable insights into the cooling process. Detecting these molecules in distant galaxies has historically been challenging due to limitations in telescope sensitivity and wavelength monitoring. 
However, with the James Webb Space Telescope's advanced capabilities, Spilker and his team managed to detect paths in a galaxy known as SPT-41847, located over 12 billion light-years away. The light detected from this galaxy began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, highlighting the remarkable feat of the universe creating such large, complex molecules at an early age. It's akin to discovering a child prodigy capable of intricate calculations and complex thoughts from the outset. This finding underscores the incredible journey that light undertakes across the vast expanse of space, traveling billions of years before reaching us on Earth. It's like receiving a message in a bottle tossed into the cosmic ocean, carrying insights from the universe's distant past. Moreover, this discovery aligns with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which suggests that mass can distort space-time. Massive objects such as galaxy clusters can act as gravitational lenses, bending and magnifying light from objects behind them. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, offers astronomers a unique perspective on the universe, allowing them to study distant galaxies and cosmic phenomena with unprecedented detail. Gravitational lensing, a concept akin to the universe providing us with a massive natural telescope, played a crucial role in Spilker and his team's groundbreaking discovery. While previous detections of the oldest complex organic molecules relied on NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, which required over a full day's worth of observation time, the James Webb Space Telescope surpassed its predecessors. With its exceptional capability and sensitivity, the JWST only needed one hour of observation time to achieve similar results making the task seem remarkably effortless, as Spilker describes. Moreover, the JWST offers unprecedented detail, not only confirming the existence of these complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies, but also pinpointing their locations within the galaxies themselves. It's like identifying an actor on stage and discerning their precise position and actions. In the galaxy SPTs of 41847, the researchers observed that these molecules were not uniformly distributed throughout. The reason behind this non-uniformity remains a mystery, awaiting further investigation. Spilker summarizes their findings by highlighting the accelerated evolution potential of galaxies in their early stages. Despite being only a tenth of the age of our Milky Way, the studied galaxy exhibited comparable mass and significant carbon and oxygen production, akin to a young child accomplishing remarkable feats ahead of their time. Interestingly, the presence of complex organic molecules was not always correlated with star formation challenging previous assumptions. Some regions rich in these molecules showed no signs of star formation, while areas bustling with nascent stars lacked these large molecules altogether. These unexpected observations underscored the ever-evolving nature of our understanding of the universe, prompting further exploration and discovery. The JWST continues to play a pivotal role in unraveling these cosmic mysteries, exceeding astronomers' expectations. Spilker expresses excitement about the potential for future discoveries, pondering the possibility of uncovering galaxies too young for such large molecules to form. He also aims to explore the underlying factors influencing the rapid formation of these molecules in certain regions of galaxies. As we await further insights, these intriguing findings highlight the JWST's indispensable contribution to advancing our knowledge of the cosmos. Spilker's enthusiasm reflects the collective excitement within the astronomical community, eagerly anticipating the next chapter in our cosmic exploration.